Hey, what's up there? I just saw your latest video, man. I'm sorry to hear about family loss, but it's glad to see you back on. You and your wife doing good, and so, yeah, it's always tough. I think there's been a lot of that going around lately. I had similar situations in July, and it's just, yeah, it's always kind of tough, that's for sure. working on this kinetic ball sculpture. I'm trying to get some things dialed in. Still kind of trying to figure out, I keep looking over there at the TV monitor. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to get um, some things dialed in on the, on the sculpture. Let me see if I can zoom in on that a little bit. There we go. So I'm dialing in all this track. And uh, working on pieces, eighth inch stainless. And that uh, will help the ball kind of roll and do its thing. But I'm getting to the point now where it's, yeah, it's getting a little tight inside the box. Hey, what's up there, Jason? How you doing? Oh, I'm actually in, uh, I'm in uh, Phoenix. So yeah, I think it's about, it's about 5.30 here. Let's see, Joe, hey, what's up, brother? How you doing? Barry, welcome back, my friend. So, I did a live feed today about noon just to kind of see how things were going. Uh, Jason and Barry, look, no box around the head, huh? I got that figured out. Change the, uh, the angle a little bit, that way you can kind of see more of the box. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a second camera and then that way I can switch back and forth between what I'm doing here and then what I'm doing there. Um, so I'm upgrading my tech scene here. So right now, just trying to do another piece. Let me see if I can kind of scooch everything a little bit closer without messing up all the cables and all that kind of fun stuff. Let's see, I'll tilt this down a little bit. All right, there we go. Kind of give you an idea about where I'm at so far. Can't really see down into here, but as I turn the pedals down below, this will turn and it'll send the ball out. So. Let's see if I can get one going. And there's one. Working on the spiral. And that's the piece I'm trying to put into play right now. Um, this diverter allows the ball to go another direction. That then goes over to another lifter. Which then is over here on a little hand crank. You turn that up, the ball comes up. And that then sends it over to another lifter over here, which the whole process starts all over again. So I'm gonna scoot everything back a little bit. There we go. Uh, let's scoot that camera down just a little bit. That's 
a little bit better. Yeah, second camera, man. That's exactly what I need. There you go. For some reason, my... Alright, wasn't sure if you guys were getting that. My battery kept flashing on and off. So anyway, so that's what's going on. I'm trying to get all that dialed in. We'll have to see how that goes. I had mentioned today that this was a... Uh, this is a project that got picked up from a company. Uh, now I kind of forget the name of the company. Uh, but they did all the design work and architecture work for a building on an ASU property here in town. And they wanted the kinetic sculpture. So a uh, four foot by 10 foot piece of glass is gonna go on top of this. It's gonna sit in their west lobby. So people can interact with this and kind of play during their lunch hour. So. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Thanks, brother! Ten bucks? I greatly appreciate that, man. That's just magical. Thank you so much. Thank you. I didn't know that kind of thing was enabled on my channel, but that's pretty freaking cool. Ha! Ah. You learn something new every day. This is only my second time doing the chat thing here in uh, YouTube. I've done it before on Facebook and Instagram and that kind of thing, but this is the first time doing that. All right, let's see. Okay. So now I can get a piece back in here. <laughs> so yeah, so they, they bought the sculpture idea and we kind of set a rough timeline, but the other day I talked to them and, and they said, yeah, we'd like to see if you can deliver by November 1st. And I'm like, Bah! November 1st, oh my gosh. That's right around the corner. Um, so it's time to hustle. What makes it nice is that the weather's starting to cool off a little bit, and it's not so uh, it's not so brutally hot here. Hang on. So, like today, I think we were at like the uh, mid 80s. I was like, beautiful. Uh, Christ. Centered Ironworks. Brother, what is your name? I might have asked this before, but uh, I check out your videos every now and again, and I see you kind of come across the feed every now and again, but I'm sorry, what is your name? And, uh, yeah, there we go. So, you know, life is always exciting. It's always fun. So then I got a second sculpture for them, which is like a big motherboard project. Um, they have an east lobby, and it's gonna be a 10 foot tall, 20 foot wide, like four panels, so five foot each. And um, it's gonna be like just a, an oversized motherboard. Got motion activated LED lights, and uh, I've never worked with those, so I've subbed that out to somebody else. Maybe I'll learn something in the process. You're monetizing the channel, you can enable it on your live stream and people can hit the dollar icon. Oh, right on. Oh, cool, okay. That's pretty cool, man. I'm still kind of getting a whole swing of this YouTube tech stuff. I'm liking it though, it's, it's a lot of fun. You know, working in the shop by yourself, Working in the shop by myself, you know, it gets a little lonely during the day. I listen to a lot of music, listen to a lot of podcasts. Um, but it'd be kind of 
of cool just to do these every every now and again just to kind of say hey what's going on out there in the world I know sometimes I catch myself um, checking them out. No way, dude! Roy, Jessica, thank you again so much, man. Look at you. Heck, man, that's more than a. That's more than a. Thank you so much, man. I, that's greatly appreciated. You know, I was watching a lot of your videos trying to figure out the whole forge thing. and So I actually, I made myself a little forge. Uh, but to be honest with you, I haven't had a chance to use it much. Um, I want to use it more, but just really haven't had the projects or the free time to sit there and kind of play with it the way I'd like to. My summertime is kind of slow, but man, this year was just outrageous. Actually, for the past, oh, I don't know, several years. You know how they say when you start a business and it usually takes three to five years before you really kind of start seeing anything? Well, that's about right. Kind of in my fourth year now, and uh, yeah, I would say just it's kind of steadily climbed. It's been nice and steady. It's nice to do what you want to do, not have to have a boss. Kind of be your own boss. But hopefully, next year, summertime, if all goes to plan, ah, that bus that you see in the background back there will be all decked out like a mobile workshop. And uh, do some traveling. Get in and Visit some other workshops. Maybe do kind of like the guest appearance type thing. You know, show up and go, hey, you know, let's do a collab or hang out and just talk shop or whatever. You know, just to kind of mix it up a little bit. And Barry, I don't know if you're still on there, buddy. Oh yeah, you are. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna make sure I get out to where you are. You and Marlene. Find out where you're living. We'll drive the bus out there so you can actually see it in person. Oh, uh, let's see, what was that question? More beer money, yeah. Well, yeah. Right now, this is the work beer. Natural light. Eh, just water. Um, but usually like on the good days, end of the day, it's when you break out the glass bottles, the craft beer. What kind of cutter are you? Oh, you know what? This is, these are, it's a company called Felco. And when I was in the rigging industry, uh, we used these types of cutters to cut wire rope cable. So uh, any of the cable that hung motors and things from truss, uh, obviously we had like a, a much larger pair. This is designed to cut about eighth inch, maybe three sixteenths. And I found that it is really hardy and cuts that stainless nice. And so that's kind of what I've been using. Uh, I had some, some hand cutters, but it just, you know, gnarled it up and before you know it after like six or seven cuts you really couldn't do anything with it but these are a, a swiss made product 
I've had these for years. Um, yeah, Felco. Ah, Michigan? That ain't nothing. So, I think it was two years ago now. Yeah, two years ago in the summer. Um, my work truck, I drove it all the way from Phoenix over to Connecticut. Uh, a friend of mine, she has a house out there with her husband and her kid. And so, they needed a, a new wooden deck. So I drove all the way out there and helped her on the wooden deck and took my girlfriend with me. We did kind of an eight day trip across the country. Stopped at every craft beer place that we could. So basically we bar hopped across America. And we stopped at every unique in like, um, oh, tourist attraction, that's the word I'm looking for. So, you know, going through Texas, you see the Cadillac Ranch with all the Cadillacs standing up. We saw the world's largest painting, rocking chair, world's largest ruler. I mean, it was the world's largest everything. Um, a lot of fun, though. I mean, just a lot of fun. And on the way back, I drove back myself because she flew back earlier. And uh, took me three days to get back quick. But yeah, it was just, I love fun. I love to drive. Traveling is kind of my thing. And now what did I do with that piece? All right, we'll, we'll cut another. That's what happens. I get to talking and before you know it, I'm like, okay, wait a minute. Oh, wait, 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 could this be it? I don't know if this is it, but it's gonna work. You know, one of the things that I was mentioning earlier today is it's such a long process. Um, you know, going back and forth and doing that and this, that, and the other thing. And right on. So, oh. Here's the piece I was looking for. It was primed and ready in my my needle nose pliers. You know, it's funny. It's like although I have I have LED lights kind of directly over me. Um, I also have two skylights in the shop, and once it starts to get dark out there, it also gets kind of like just harder to see. Plus, my old eyes and you know not being able to see as good as I used to. getting there and tomorrow is just going to be much of the same I had mentioned earlier on the other feed that on the other live feed on top of these two sculptures I still have a reception desk and two doors I haven't had, had a chance to do my normal stuff and uh, you know then you get someone saying hey what's the ETA on this Oh, great, yeah, I haven't even started it. But I do know that working under pressure, you definitely go a little quicker. And you'd be surprised at what you can get done when you know you have to get it done. I have 
having the live feed, it's actually kept me from getting my workshop table too dirty. I'm trying to have some better housekeeping skills. I tend to just drop things and put them where I last used them and then I forget where I last used them. Smithing all the time, correct? Is that your uh, is that your full time gig? All right, let's put this last piece in here. at the end of the day. Consider the hardest part of this whole thing, which is kind of a little self-defeating. Um, so the idea within this whole thing is it's interactive, and so right now I've got one, two, three lifters. I've got another one that I'm going to be building soon, um, but I'm only dealing with 11 inches of gravity, so you know it doesn't take me long to get down before I have to lift it back up again. But I thought this would be kind of fun if I could set up some way where if you can get the balls over to that side, it would trigger, you know, like little flags. Um, and then the same thing on this side. So if that person over there could get balls over here and it would trigger flags. So kind of like a capture the flag type game. 
um, where if you can move the balls back and forth and whoever gets the, the most flags, you know, uh, wins. So now I'm trying to figure out how to how to manipulate the ball to where I need it to go so it runs across something and raises a flag or, I don't know, this is what keeps me up at night. Um, <laughs> so until that point, I just keep making track and keep making it do all the crazy stuff that I'm trying to get it to do. So right now, uh, I've got this piece of track. It's all dialed in. I get these little spacers uh, that I make. That keeps the distance in the track. And then you get these uprights. Then I'll put a plate across the bottom of that, and that helps me anchor it to the uh, to the ground. And then I'm going to put a guardrail on these outside curves so it doesn't go flying off. Um, but yeah, that's that's what we're doing. So I've got to figure out. And then once it's all done, hey, we're gonna paint it, powder coat it, something like that. Um, which is kind of funny in itself. So, Austin, what's up? Uh, the YouTube gurus keep saying that lives are the best way to grow your channel. I'm gonna let you be the test. Oh, cool, well, we'll find out. Cool. You know, live streams, I mean, this is, this is like the second that I've done for YouTube. Um, the first was today at like noon. I do several on Facebook and I also do a couple on Instagram every now and again. I don't know about growing your channel or growing your page, but I like the interaction. You know, like Boy said, it's just, it's interacting with people that, you know, are into doing the same thing you're doing. You know, you kind of all speak the same language. And uh, for me, I think that's kind of cool. I keep chopping my head off, so I'm gonna tilt that up just a bit. That's better. Get that off my belly. All right, so I need to do, oh, I know. We need to do the curve. Got a piece here, that should work. When I first started making this, I was putting this in the bender, seeing if I could actually bend it that way. And I'd say after a while, I just figured, out oh, the heck with it, man. It's so much easier just to bend it in your hand and, you know, shape it and work with it that way. I was wasting more time trying to bend it than I did anything. I think one of the things that I had to figure out for the live stream was uh, my internet speed. I had to get that dialed in. And uh, I found, I mean, I, and I kind of have the, I guess the threshold. You need 10 megabytes upload at least so that you don't have kind of all that pixelated stuff going on. And. Um, so I was like, okay, bite the bullet, spend the extra cash, it'll be worth it, you know, to be able to do something like that. So this is what I do, is I put something down and I forget where it's at. Where my darn Sharpie at. Hey, <laughs> okay, what'd you guys do with my Sharpie? Oh, there it is. All right. Now I'm dropping stuff everywhere. Under my table. All right, new piece. Hang on just a second. Oh, 
Okay, we're back. I had to go get another piece. So this uh, this stainless rod comes in uh, 12 foot sections. And so I think so far I have used, let me think, uh, three, four, eight. So I've used 20 sticks so far. So what's 240 feet in there right now? Not so bad. All right. Oh, you know what? I was looking up here earlier, and I'm going to be looking off camera. Don't be looking too deep in my head there. But analytics, it can show you how many current views you have and. Oh, nice. Okay. Alrighty then. Cutters. So I'm probably going to finish this piece up today and then that's it. Because I'll be back over here tomorrow. Same bat time, same bat place. But I probably won't do any live feeds until maybe next week. Um, see if I can get a different project going on. I'm hoping this time next week this will be pretty close to done. I'll have to paint the sides. Um, oh! So originally when I pitched the idea, I had seen on the tube a method of heating the metal and then taking a brass brush and then rubbing it onto the steel and that brass on the brush would melt onto the steel cool process uh, and I was able to do that however because of the size of the table it would not come off consistent and so that was one of the problems I had with, with the overall look. I did a sample. Hang on just a second. If I can find the sample that I did, I had a I had a auto body company do up some paint I took the sample that I did that was like the brass brush and that I heated up and I said listen I need that color uh, but I need it in a transparent so I want this to look like bra uh, brushed brass and so that's exactly what they did is they gave me a what they call candy apple not candy apple red but I guess that's the process or the type of paint and when you spray it on it doesn't have a base coat so whatever texture you put here uh, yeah you can get like this cool color so that's going to be the base of the table kind of have this brass look and that's just paint I thought that was kind of a cool scene I did one of my videos on that. Um, I found that stainless, stainless kind of creates the best uh, finish. So whatever you put into your, oh wow, look at that, it's kind of going, so yeah, whatever you put texture-wise into your, your stainless, and then you spray over it, it all comes out, you know, that texture. So if you're ever doing any projects where you're looking for some kind of cool effects, uh, there you go. I was really pleased when I found that out. Okay, this is when I get a little <laughs> what I feel dyslexic. 
I don't know if I'm really dyslexic, but sometimes turning something upside down so I can weld it on the other side, and I'm like, oh crap, did I get that going the right direction? I can't remember. Barry, in Michigan, you should have like some uh, rigging uh, stores. I'm trying to think. Gosh, I haven't been out of the, I've been out of the business for such a long time. It's been a while, uh, but. I'll have to get you the information. Like, there's a company that's here that sells a lot of rigging gear. They also sell those tools. But yeah, probably can look online. Um, you can look for Falco and and then see if there's like an off brand, maybe. I don't know. And they make big ones. I mean, like if you're going to be cutting like big things, you know, you'll probably want something more hydraulic. But uh, I know I've got a cutter here that'll cut up to, uh, I would say, probably three eighths cable. guardrail supports now. Just little half inch pieces of stainless. all the time in my shop so at least this way I don't feel kind of crazy for some reason. I don't know, maybe it's a little later. I'm losing some of my light out there. Gotta put a new tip on my tungsten. Hang on just a second. Gotta go by the screen here, sharpen up my tungsten. Okay. So the table I'm working on right now, this was my old well table. It was the first one that I built when I came into the shop and I didn't have a lot of extra money. So I just built it out of some four by fours and and uh, some MDF board. And at that time, I was doing a lot of different types of projects, a lot of wood projects, some metal projects. And I just haven't got around 
to moving it out of the shop because there's so much crap underneath it and I don't know where to put it. So it's now become another work table and my welding bench is over there. Here, I'll turn you over here, you can see it. It's also filled with stuff right now. So you got the welding bench, which is, uh, I was just set up recently to do uh, rain curtains. So I do a, a water feature that I've got on my website and my Etsy store. And uh, a lot of people either buy the, buy the actual water feature or if they want to do it themselves, they can get the rain curtain part made and uh, I'll ship that to them as well. Or they can get the ebook and they can learn how to do it themselves. Profit centers. So, so yeah, so I, that's one of the jobs that I don't like doing. Well, I'm like kind of way off, aren't I? Oh, hang on. I thought I caught myself up here. That's a little better. Okay, now the guardrail is on. So when it goes around there at breakneck speed, it won't go falling off. All right. It's getting there. Hey, thanks for stopping in, brother. Appreciate it. And thanks again for the donations, man. That was freaking awesome of you. <laughs> Barry, I answer myself all the time. I do. And sometimes I'll even break into like different accents just for the fun of it. As if I'm talking to myself in a different accent. It's like when you get really bored. <laughs> okay, so now I got a question. So, the reason I chose Thursday to do the live feed was one, um, I looked at the analytics on my videos and it showed that Thursdays seem to be a bit of a higher punch maybe because it's the end of the week and people are just kind of wanting to see some different things. Um, but I'm wondering, it's like if I did something like this on the weekend, if it would do as well. In the sense that, you know, I'm figuring everybody's out doing things. Who wants to sit around and watch the videos all day long? But, and I just thought of this, maybe, just maybe, uh, as we get into winter and people from the East Coast are snowed in and they can't do anything, maybe that would be a good time is on the weekends. And I'll bring in like special craft beers and we'll do a, a craft beer tasting. We actually have a craft beer brewery, like uh, just like a, like a craft beer brewery, brewer house. It's a brew pub. Brew pub. Oh, lost my English for a second. Um, make sure that's sitting right. And uh, yeah, it's just right down the road. So that should be kind of cool. Make sure that this can go through there. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Gotta make sure. Alright. So 
one of the things that you kind of like start going on these things. You're going, oh crap, you know, the ball can't go through it. Now you got to start over. Okay, getting close. Thursdays and Sundays are the best days to upload videos, so maybe true for live streams. Oh yeah, yeah, maybe. I upload mine like every other Saturday, and it's a slow, it's a slow rise. I thought about changing that, maybe doing Thursdays or so. I don't know. Hey, Jared, what's up, buddy? How you doing? Yeah, you know, it's interesting. It's, I guess if you were like super, super high tech or maybe you're just like really jazzed about the whole YouTube thing and like building a business or subscriber base or whatever, you know, you can figure out the analytics and it'll tell you exactly when you need to do everything you need to do. Man, I just, I don't have a lot of downtime to just sit there and look at analytics and try to figure it out. Um, I enjoy my YouTube channel, but it's definitely not, it's not the way I make my living, that's for sure. Okay, I got sharpen the tungsten again. And what's weird is, you know, you, you get these, uh, you get all these different companies who want to try to work with you and you can sponsor our other stuff and you get some people you're going man I don't even know what your product is or how it relates to what I'm doing but thank you anyway you know what I mean um, like if somebody wants to send something and it's actually it relates to what I'm doing. Okay, well that makes a difference. Like there is, oh hang on a second. There is a, a company that I guess makes grinding wheels. Uh, graph. And so they reached out and said, hey, would you like to try these grinding wheels? Metal cutting, this one's for wood. So I'm like, okay, yeah, you know, I wouldn't mind checking them out, but I just got those in the mail yesterday. Um, I haven't had a chance to use them yet. But, but, you know, those are the things that are actually helpful. You know, they, they, might, they might make my job more efficient, which I think to me that's what's important. Efficiency. Sometimes I get these things right, and sometimes I don't. Man, dealing with this little rod, I get hesitant about burning through. Especially after you've gone to the hassle of creating the entire thing, and you don't want to like blow through everything. I need to cut more of the plate. <laughs> Trump rally. Oh yeah. Go get them. Alright, let me turn this around because I'm going to be over here for just a second. Yeah, there we go. All right, so I did a, a metal water feature that was out of stainless. And so this was one of the, the columns that I had bent at my metal supplier. 
they bend them at eight inches. And so now, this is what's left over from the water feature itself. So I've just been trimming off a half inch each time, using these as strips. This is a, the Harbor Freight shear. And then I added on this extra plate that you can slide back and forth. So I can set up something and just cut routine type stuff, you know, like repeat stuff. This is almost a little too thick for this, this machine or this tool, but it seems to do okay. I mean, it's not dulling anything yet. So, all right, let me turn you back around here. All right, we're gonna drop you back down a little bit. Ooh, too much, sorry. All right, no more focusing on the beer gut. All right, that's better. Okay, okay, here we go. little bits here. You know, by the end of the day, you just start to drag ass a little bit. And you know you're going to be back here tomorrow doing the exact same thing. So it's easy to sit there and go, ah, you know what, I'll put this off until tomorrow. But then you realize at the end of the week, you're going, man, I should have finished this a little bit sooner. I'm behind schedule. Why didn't I finish this sooner? usually because you get lazy during the week thinking oh I got time I can do this later and that always catches up with you a different angle and all of a sudden you know you kind of just touch it just a little bit it just kind of wrecks it next thing you know you're going all right all right person 
up in the hill country here in Arizona. We're supposed to have a pretty major storm coming through. So one of the reasons why I like Arizona is the variety. Now down here in Phoenix, uh, it's either like really hot or just hot. And you know, here we are October and it's, it was, I was like high 80s today. Not, yeah, high 80s. So it's not bad for an October. But in Flagstaff, two hours away, uh, I think their high today was mid 50s. Uh, tonight they're going to be freezing. Not my bag of tricks right there. I am a desert rat through and through. Although it's kind of funny, the thing is I've gotten older, you know, there's a point where it does just get too hot. Like I said, this is frustrated sometimes. Just gets a little bop globular. Like I, I heat up the the 20 gauge too hot and it'll burn through, uh, or I could burn through the eighth inch, but it's kind of hard to balance those two out. All right, let's see if that's gonna look right. to the table. How many balls can be running at one time? You know, honestly, Barry, I don't know yet. Um, I think once I get all the track in there, I'm just gonna invite some friends over and I'm just gonna put in a whole bunch of balls and see what happens. And then try to figure out, you know, where are the weak points and, you know, maybe there's a, an area that I have uh, too many or not enough and you're waiting for something to happen. So, yeah, it's a bit of a learning curve. Learning process, should I say. So, yeah, you know, it's getting there. It's, uh, as I'm sure you're aware, I mean, it's like right now, I've only been able to kind of, you know, put one or two in myself and kind of see where they go. Once I get this in there, I'll move the camera over and you can see what we've done so far. We, like I've got a royal we, like I've got a mouse in my pocket. Um, <laughs> my dad says that a lot. Say, hey, what are we gonna do? I don't know, what do you got, a mouse in your pocket? My dad's known for coming up with these really weird sayings. They what they call it, idioms or something. He could probably write a book on stuff that he says. It's like something about about as quiet as a mouse pissing on cotton. I can't remember what that referenced, but <laughs> it always made me laugh.
Okay, making sure that I get that piece dialed in just right. Sharpie. I'm burning that one out. Okay. Very small drill bit. There you are. supports and there's a plate and then you get to the acrylic and so sometimes these screws don't go all the way down into the second layer and it'll start to pull up the, the stainless base and that gets frustrating sign off I'm gonna move the camera over here real quick Jared it kind of reminds me of a wooden bead coasters those are all oh yeah 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 sure hey you know this thing it also reminded me of the roller coaster tycoon I don't know if any of you ever played that uh, where you could build your own roller coaster it was kind of fun I was uh oh, it's like kind of the sim stuff all right, let me see if I can get over here a little bit closer without yanking everything off the cable. All right. Have a little patience with me here as I dial this stuff in. I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit. same way as this does which is kind of just out of the screen here hang on just a second let me just tilt that down a little bit more okay so right here I pull this 
rod that's on the side and it'll divert the ball going one way or the other. So as the ball comes down, there's another diverter here that separates the tracks. I built this today, the spiral today, and then this other section that drops it into a track and brings it back over here to this lifter. So, if there was a ball here and it starts out, and then drops onto the new one, and I have to put a barrier there so it doesn't dive off the track, but the object of the game there is so that this comes down and then goes back over here. So, that seemed to be an all-day affair. All right, let me back this up a little bit. Whoa. And we'll drop this down a little bit. Oh, yeah, 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 it was a PC game. Okay, what time it is? It's, uh, gosh, it's 6.30. I think uh, I've been on here for about an hour. Um, I greatly appreciate every single person that came on here tonight and just to kind of hang out with me and get me through this day. Uh, it does get a little boring here in the shop, talking to myself, so it's nice to be able to talk to somebody and uh, you know answer questions if you have any questions. Or I can ask questions of you and kind of get to know you better. So I, I know that many of you watch the videos, I see your comments, and uh, yeah, it's just kind of, Become a little bit more personable. See what's going on out there, you know. See who you guys are. Um, but I'm going to cut out of here. Uh, it's time for me to get home. Next, i got to go do computer work now. And uh, back again here tomorrow at 6 o'clock. Keep working on this kinetic ball sculpture. So thank you again so much for hanging out. And let's go ahead and turn this off. And there we go. See ya.